Your smart basketball carrier.
nine, Jason Welch. Yeah, the kick. Yes, yeah, good kick. Picked up by 41, John Paul. And he is down by the... Hand off this time. Number 
41. And tackled by number 85, Jim. Up 
by the by number 70, Tom Barkell. Pass a little high and 
send it for teams locked horns in the Copper Country. Park River Harris ranked number one in the Little Five, visited Lakeland and Hubble, which held the number three spot in the same poll. Park River Harris was looking for its third win, but TV6's Scott Doling tells us the Broncos' record is now the same as the Lakes. The old saying is three yards in a cloud of dust, but today in Lake Linden, it was three yards in a splash of water. The playing field was like a 100-yard long mud puddle that made any quick moves nearly impossible. Bark River Harris trailed 14-0 at halftime, and it looked like their fortunes might change after this unbelievable catch, fumble, and recovery by Tom Lindquist. As it turned out, though, the Lakes defense wouldn't give up any more yardage. Here, Nate Verbrickmos gets the sack on quarterback Mike Richer to end the drive. Lake Linden Hubble stuck with an up-the-gut attack most of the game. When they did venture outside, they usually produced a big play, and this 30-yard run by Ricky Marquette was one of those as it helped clinch the game. On the next play, Craig Rowe fought his way through three Broncos and into the end zone, giving the Lakes a decisive 22 to nothing win. Any game plan uh, that we had, we changed. Uh, when we got out of the field, it was more like a lake than a field, and we just went right at them. They actually came right at us, and we won the line of scrimmage, and we won the ball game. The Lakes now have a 2-1 and one record, as do the Broncos. Scheduling, TV6 Sports, Lake Linden. And to the scoreboard, there's the Lake Linden Hubble score for Bark River Harris. Certainly changes in the Little Five poll next week. Best burn overtime. And two games from last weekend definitely had an impact on how the Big Five and Little Five polls would be. One game involved Gladstone and Nagani. The Lynx played in the Splish Splash Bowl against Park River Harris. The Lynx waded through the Broncos' defense with strong running with Rick Marquette and the TD coming up by Craig Rowe here. Park River Harris played tough and tried everything in its playbook to get into the contest, including the 